by popular demand. We are talking about 10 fragrances, our top 10 fragrances, for absolutely no reason at all. Keep watching. Welcome back to Bougie Fragrance. I'm Dawn and Photography Guy. What's up? He's here like he is each and every time we record and upload a new video on Sundays and Thursdays. Sundays and Thursdays. We are back with a second edition of our top 10 fragrances for absolutely no reason at all. No reason at all. We don't need a reason to talk about a fragrance. We do not need a reason to talk about a fragrance. I wrote some notes because I can't remember all of this. That's like a whole bunch of accords and 10 notes. I'm never going to remember it. So forgive my notes, but I have I have to have them. We're going to start with Versace's Oud Oriental Pour Femme that came out in 2014. We talked about this and I introduced it just on my very last video. So if you missed that, go back to my last video. Watch that. It's fun. So this is Actually, it's powdery, it's leathery, it's warm, spicy, it's woody. woody. It's oud, floral, rose, vanilla, violet, and patchouli, and we love this. First blast is it's powdery. It's very powdery, and I want the orient, I want the oriental and the oud to be a little bit more stronger. But this is good. This is really, really good. Now we're going to talk about Jardine Exclusive. It came out in 2018. I keep saying that this makes me feel like a Polynesian princess when I wear it. It is so beautiful. It's fruity, it's powdery, it's sweet, it's musky, it's citrus, it's fresh, it's a vanilla, white floral, animalic, and caramel. I can't put this down. I can't put this one down. I love this. This is the one I wore to Disney and it's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, next photograph guy is Lancome's Eau de Lancome. This was gifted to me, thank you again, for, by a very, very sweet subscriber. It just wasn't for her. This is actually, this came out in 1969. Wow. Can you believe this? 1969. That is Lancome. That, they're timeless. Lancome is timeless to me. So this is citrusy, it's aromatic, it's fresh spicy, it's woody, it's earthy, it's mossy, it's green, and it's white floral. Gorgeous. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I actually have been layering it with other fragrances that I wanted a little more citrus vibe to. Works really good with warm notes. A fragrance with a lot of warm notes in it, this pairs really well with that. It makes it just pop. And who doesn't like that? Right? Gotta have the pop. You gotta have the pop, photography guy. Ice carrots. That's where I found the most amazing treasures. I ordered from icecarrots.com. Use the code bougie to save 15% off your purchase. Some of the best gold prices. They also have a 100% price match guarantee. Free lifetime warranty, free gift packaging. Did I say the best customer service? So go to icecarrots.com today and don't forget to use the code bougie to save yourself 15% off of your treasures. So let's swoop right over. We're going to swoop now. Here we go. We're swooping. Okay. Harajuku lovers. This fragrance has been on my shelf for a while. I haven't really experienced. I know if you haven't seen these yet, these are made by Gwen Stefani. She has a whole line of Harajuku lovers. These are great. I have actually... I have quite a few of these in my collection. Mm, that smells so good. We're going to talk a little bit about this one as well. This came out in 2014. It's fruity, musky, fresh, white floral, sweet, say it photographic guy. Woody. Aquatic, green, and powdery. Did I not say affordable? No, you did not. I did not say no, affordable. No, you did not. I should never leave that part out. If it's affordable, you should know because who doesn't want to save money? This fragrance doesn't last very long. I'm going to say five hours max. I do get a good four and a half hours wear time out of this every time. And it's pretty. It is pretty. So smell these first. You, you know I can't do a top 10 for absolutely no reason at all without bringing out a fragrance from Ajmal. This is Aristocrat. If you don't know, then you don't know. But I know. So I'm, I know. I, I know. Aristocrat was made in 2018. It's sweet. It's warm, spicy. It's citrusy. It's musky. It's aromatic. It's fresh, spicy, amber, mossy, metallic, and photographic. I you use the word dirty. 
dirty. But yes. that means it's earthy. Earthy. Oh, I love aristocrat. I love this fragrance. I know, great, right? I love. Oh, put the lid on backwards on. Don't do that. Look at that. It's if you like purple bottles, if you're a bottle collector, wait, affordable. Photography guy. Yes, very affordable. It's affordable. Yes. And beautiful. It's affordable and beautiful. Great combination. Absolutely no reason at all. It's great. All right. And you know us. We have to bring you one from our one of our favorite houses of Tom Ford. This is Tuberu's new. This is an EDP 50 ml in their signature collection bottle. These apothecary bottles, and I love this in white. I love their white apothecary. This is our only white apothecary bottle from them, but look at it, it's gorgeous. It screams money to me. I mean, I just think it looks expensive. It looks expensive. It is expensive. It is. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're right. This is not affordable. This is expensive. <laughs> so this came out in 2021. It's white floral, tuberose, musky, leather, ambery, powdery, animalic, and Say it, photography guy. Woody. Woody, this, the tuberose. This bottle of fragrance right here is what made me fall in love with tuberose. I love this fragrance. And so we thought we'd bring this to the table absolutely for absolutely... No reason at all. No reason at all. So that's going to be in our top ten as well. We're going to move on to the next one, boys and girls. This is Ellie Saab's Girl of Now Forever. I have Ellie Saab's Girl of Now, I have Ellie Saab's Girl of Now Shine, and this is Ellie Saab's Girl of Now Forever. I don't really talk a lot about this one. That's why I brought it out. This came out in 2019. It's fruity, sweet, citrusy, vanilla, almond, woody, rose. Oh, what? Did I say something, photography guy? You said woody. I did. Powdery, <laughs> musky, and nutty. It's, this is, smells so good. If you haven't tried this, get your nose on it. It's really, really good. Plus the bottle. I love the bottle. We're going to bring out a Chanel to the table. This is Gabrielle Essence, which I happen to love. I recently did a little thing on TikTok about this one. I love this fragrance. This is so pretty. This came in in 2019. It's white floral, citrus, fruity, sweet, tuberose. Say it, photography guy. Woody. Or sing it, yeah. We do we, a lot of woody fragrances. We do like our woody fragrances. We really do. It's yellow floral powdery, animalic, and fresh. I love anything alimanic. I love anything alimanic. Animalic for notes or accords and fragrance. Count me in. I'm probably going to love it. This one is one of those loves for me. I love this. This was actually suggested by uh, subscribers way back in the day for us, like two and a half years ago. Somebody says, you gotta get Gabrielle Essence. Cause I was talking about grabbing Gabrielle. I wanted it to be a next fragrance. And several people commented back and said, no, 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 no. Get Gabrielle Essence. And I'm so glad I did because this, it's good. It's good, I love it. Now we're gonna talk about a Christmas present that I received from my son because I love him. <laughs> this one is oh heavy oh, hold on hold, hold on this one not only is it heavy it's gorgeous and it screams florida tropics which is where we're from and we have all kinds of little visitors just like this all the time this is christian leviton's luby croc <sighs> number one this bottle weighs three hundred thousand pounds it is heavy you it really very need heavy you need to get yourself a muscle man so you can get it out of the, the shelf or your display so you can put it on. This is probably my heaviest fragrance in my collection. Not because it's heavy on your skin, because the weight of the bottle and the cap together combined is over the top. It is so heavy. You could, honestly, somebody breaks in your home in the middle of the night, grab this because this could save your life. I'm telling That's you. good. I know it's true though. It's so true. That's how heavy it is. And the alligator, honestly, if you don't know, I'm going to try to get in really close. Photographic guy, give me a zoom. I don't know if you can see it, but this croc has toenails and his, I can say claws, really. His claws are painted red. I oh, love them cool. painted red. You might be able to see it better on this back foot. Look at that. Zoom it in. It is so good. Look at those red toes. 
who doesn't like a red toe? So Luby Croc, I, I know I'm so excited about this, can you tell? I don't wanna wear it because I love it that much, but I need to wear it, mostly in the winter. I think this is a more fall winter fragrance because it's so warm and deep. This came out in 2020 and that's when I got it. This is ambery, it's woody. Woody, <laughs> it's warm, spicy, balsamic. It's powdery, sweet, and aromatic. And oh my goodness, oh, this thing's heavy. I'm, I can't say enough how heavy this is. If you have, oh, look at the inside of the cap, it's that Louis Vuitton, Christian Louis Vuitton red too. I can't stop. I, I, I'm, I'm surprised it's not gone. Only by power of my will, only by the will of my powers, only of the powers of my being, has this not gone because I have to, I reach for it and I'm like, no, I, I uh, leave it in the bottle. I don't know why. I know it's replaceable, but I got it from Johnny. So that right there means something to me. I don't want to have to say, oh, that's my second bottle. My first bottle I got from Johnny. It's easier to say, I got this from Johnny. So Johnny, thanks. I love it and I love you. He's a good one. He's a keeper. Photography guy, we're doing the last bottle of our top 10 fragrances for... Absolutely no reason at all. And are you excited that we're done or are you excited that we're not done? Well, we're excited to do more. I'm just excited to do more. Oh, wait. We're going to do more top 10 fragrances for F. We've started a thing. We, we did. We've started and we're having so much fun because why not talk about stuff that everybody's not talking about every day? Every day. So number 10, and if I turn it the right way, you can actually see the name. Boom, boom, boom. So this, I don't know what that is. So this is called Jimmy Choo's Illicit. This came out in 2015. This has been in my collection for quite some time, almost three years, I'm betting, betting, I'm betting. For almost three years I've had this. And I love this. I, it's one of those that I don't want to put on because I love it. Do you know, I think you guys know what I mean. It's like, no, I don't want to put it on because then it'll be gone. And then my head says, no, just wear it. So that's why some of this is not in here because that head in me that says just wear it keeps wearing it. But it's also got a lot left in there because the other side of me says, stop picking that up. Pick up something else because this is good and you want it to stay there. Let's talk about it. This came out in 2015. The Accords in this is just stunning too. So the Accords are honey, sweet, citrusy, warm, spicy, white floral, amber, Woody. You you know the cute. I know. Just, yep. Woody. Caramel, powdery, and floral. So honestly, out of all of these top 10 fragrances for no reason at all, I love them all. There's, I love fragrances. I am addicted. I can't stop. I think I, we're both kind of addicted now at this point. True. He's even fragrance shopping. There's a new house I'm looking for. I'm trying to talk photographic guy into maybe surprising you guys with a new line of something. Oh my goodness. It's good. The bottles. I don't even know what they smell like. I'm going to go try them. Maybe I'll take you guys with me. There you go. That's such a good idea. I'm going to take you guys with me. So you need this. You need this. You this is good if you like tuberose. You need this. If you like the Chanel fragrances, grab the Gabrielle Essence instead of the Gra Gabrielle. I agree. This is good. Luby Croc. Can never put it down again because I love it so much. But I have to put it down because it's so damn heavy. Then you have Ellie Saab's Girl of Now Forever. Also, always going to be in my collection because it's that good. This is Harajuku's Lover's Pop Electric Love. Super affordable, really good, smells wonderful, get that. Versace's Oud Wood Pour Femme, Versace's Pour Femme Oud Oriental. I said it wrong, then I fixed myself, all better. This is pretty. Little on the costly side, but it's pretty. One of my favorites from Versace, actually. This is from the House of Ajmo, super affordable. This is Aristocrat. <clears throat> yes, I know, I know. It, it's that good, it was stuck. Jardine exclusive by the house of Mancera. It's good, I can't, I love this one so much. And then we're gonna end this with Eau de Lancome by Lancome. This is also good. Very old, it's a vintage fragrance. Photograph guy? Yes. Will you help me, out of all these 10 fragrances, get them links to really good deals and put them in the description? Yeah, we'll see what we can do. We'll hook you guys up. If I can't find them, I'll just leave a little, I couldn't find you one, but for the most part, I will try to link a sale, a good price somewhere for these fragrances in my description below. So definitely go check that out. On that note, photograph guy. On that note. Wait, let's tell them what's coming up on the very next video. Uh oh. 
you're gonna have to get out your pen and paper. I've talked about this on the last two videos, but I, I'm gonna lean in, excuse my, reach, excuse my reach. I'm leaning in because I hauled 87 mini bottles of fragrances, 87. We're talking almost 90 bottles of perfume here. The, this is gonna be on the next video. And the reason you need to grab your pen and paper is because I need help. I don't know what some of these are, and some of you have helped me in the past with some when I've hauled minis and I didn't know what they were, I'm gonna need that help again. There's a lot in here that I don't know what they are. And I'm hoping I can count on you guys for assistance. So on that note, Photography Guy, on that note, do it. Uh, never leave your house naked. Always rock your day with a fragrance. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Yes. Ring that bell. Ding, 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 ding. Leave us a comment. Yes. Even though we didn't do it today because we don't, when we do videos like this, let us know your fragrance of the day. <laughs> yes. Uh, Hit, give us a thumbs up. We like the thumbs up. We love them. And we'll see you on the next video, which is going to be a really good one. 87, 87 bottles of perfume. 87 fragrances. 87. 8 D 7. 87. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Bye.